Well, hi, my name is May and this is Red Dead Redemption 2 part 12. So last time we met up with some various gunslingers. We met Billy Midnight, we met Black Bell, Emmett Granger. I think we have one more that we need to see, but overall their missions were pretty fun. Um, I really liked Black Bell in particular. She just has a really great personality, even just the like short minute that you see her basically. She's just such a fun character. So I really enjoyed that part. Um, we also ended up meeting up with Mary and helping her with her dad. He is kind of a POS. And uh, yeah, we ended up going on a date with her and it was fine, I guess. <laughs> it was okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a huge Mary fan, but overall it was a pretty good time. Arthur and the gang went to Angelo Bronte's high society party. Uh, we ended up getting some tips on some potential robberies, as well as just learning some more about the mayor and kind of like the various big figures in the city. So that was some good information that we'll probably use later. It was also a very sad day because we found out that Kieran had been captured and tortured by the O'Driscolls and subsequently ended up being beheaded. And that kind of led to a big shootout at, what is it called? Shady Bell? Shady Bell. Um, it was very sad. I forgot. I knew that something bad happened to Kieran, but I didn't remember exactly how. So I was a little bit shocked to see that. I did not think it was around this time either. So it was kind of like a double whammy for me. But um, yeah, we ended up fighting them off. Sadie kind of held her own. She was really aggressive. She probably killed more people than I did. And uh, it was it was a fun time despite the uh, circumstances. <laughs> Anyway, now we, what are we doing? I think we have to see Trelawney. We have a few side stuff to do as well, but we'll probably focus mostly on the main, the main story today, because that's what I'd like to do. And uh, I'm talking too much, so let's go. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's go. So I thought we'd do this one last debt collector thing at uh, Strawberry. Makes sense to do it now, because I'm already almost there. Assuming this is you. We snoring. When homes? I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny. How far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. Mm. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything. I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Your horse is over here. Alright, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. I haven't even seen a cougar yet in this playthrough. Drive! I'm driving. <laughs> make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy <laughs> me. He's right, though. That's why. That's why he's annoying. 
going right here, up the stream. Okay, doesn't like the water. Oh. Hi, step. Uh, how about this day? I guarantee you pay me. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. Interesting words. Turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Good one, Arthur. Wow. Creative. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. I think this is the first time I've had my winter outfit on. I never come up here. There's not really a lot going on since the beginning of the story. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. Why do I feel like this is scary? Oh. Nope, come back here. Yeah, yeah, probably. Or this. I think this is scary. All right. And I think this Show is a, a sad man. Soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. Or this is a setup. Either or. It's a scary cougar. Or it's a setup. Uh, where is the lantern? Oh. I literally don't think I've had the lantern out ever. What? Is it here? I don't know where the freaking lantern is. Oh, there it is. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. Cotton. She better be. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. Going in the den is not a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. This is a freaking horror game. Arthur, watch your step. <gasps> it's so dark. Oh. Mess around with me, boy. He's not. It's too dark. I'm actually spooked. Oh, and I fell. How am I supposed to see without my lantern? How much is this cougar eat? There's a corpse down here. Oh, you're talking to no one, buddy. Oh, I feel bad for this poor guy. I'm so spooked. Show yourself. <gasps> okay. Okay. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. 
I did not turn around quick enough. Okay. Oopsie daisy. Oh, fuck. To go through it again? Okay, run. So he gets caught. I found him. Okay. Crap. Damn. Dead, dead. Where is she? Crap, crap. Show yourself. Oh. Come here, I don't want to come to you. You come to me. Oh, you bitch. Oh my god. I'm amazing. That was beautiful too, right in the head. Oh my god. That was incredible. Oh, my heart is beating. Oh, oh my god. All right. That was terrifying. Oh, nope. There we go. Oh, I could keep it on my, oh. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Oh well, I can go this way. That was so scary. I don't want to do that again. All of a sudden, I just like, as soon as we, he said, oh, the den, I was like, oh, oh I remember this. Oh god. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. How many abandoned horses are there? <laughs> like all the time. Oh god. Oh, I don't need my lantern anymore. Okay, let's go sell this bad boy. Seriously, that was scary. I can't believe I got it though that fast. I thought I was gonna fail again. All right, mission accomplished. <gasps> I knew. Are you dead? Nope. Man, you're hardy. You're a hardy horse. You didn't even lose any health. That's crazy. Made of steel. Ever grace this town? There we go. Pretty standard fare these days. I may as well sell these as well. Hope we'll enjoy eating that. that too. Okay, all done. Now what do we want to do next? Oops, that's the settings. That's not right. Next. We can... let's actually, let's do this as well. We may as well. I don't know. Okay, I'll fast travel and then we will uh, get a tip on what to steal. Glad you dropped in. I've got that uh, information you asked for. Yeah, tell me about the moonshine. Well, need something more specific. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Cool. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of San Denis. Ooh, close. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. Okay, cool. Oops. Sorry. All right. Actually, let's Why is everything so blurry? Why don't I take the train? Oh, man, round it up 
all the way to Saint Denis. Let's do that, just for fun. Back so soon? Ah, hello. Sorry, I don't. Here you go. Thank you. I won't even rob anybody. I'm just riding the train, just like a normal citizen. Not an outlaw. A good boy. Okay, let's go see Charles. See what he's up to. The artist. Can I cut through here? Where is he? Up. Oh, I see. Stairs over here. Enjoy the show. Oh, there That's we go. Possible. It's a free show, so don't come out. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. <laughs> well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. Well, progressive. I think that it's Greek. That's far too modern for my tastes. <laughs> Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those hot and tots. Hey, hot and got tots. a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Why would you be shown it to that man? That's my mom. <laughs> as nude as the day she was born. <laughs> Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking mm -hmm. at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't exposed herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Oh. Come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here. Hey. I am a bitch. Oh, you filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We are leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Do I have to I have to beat all of these guys? No, they're beating each other. We're fine. Wait, or is he Yeah, you're right here. Oh, we're waiting. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Oh no, 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 no. I wanted to pick up my hat. I wanted to pick up my hat. Drop stranger. Pick up hat. Okay. You won't let me run. I'm coming. Let's go. I protected your ass. You're welcome. This way, this way. Come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition. What can you say? It was not boring. He is a small man. Uh, it was not. Aren't you just people? Push them. I thought I was a fraud. A lieutenant flash washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that. All your canvas is left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. Can I best girl? That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now seems like the only thing it'll get me is kicking the balls. <laughs> oh, you are funny, you know. Thanks. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> oh, 
There he goes. What a scoundrel. A little rascal. How do I get out of here? Oh, can I get out of this fence? Yep, I can. Let's go see Trelawney. Oh. My dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. I just got my hair cut, so that'll help. Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Let's Make take a gander. Look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. <laughs> a bitter and jealous suit. Ooh. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow. Is that it? From all the this is the only one? Might I suggest the fine three piece town suit? Clearly. It's my only option. A very good choice, sir. Thank you. I mean, I wish I had other options. It's, it is a nice choice, though. Come on, let's get you to the barber. I just sure. went to the barber. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Maybe I can slick my hair back or something. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in. And you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican <laughs> coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh, no, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we. You, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Looking pretty sharp. I actually like the blue a lot. Looks good. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Did he call me a hick? That wasn't very this nice. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly oh. deportment. I think I well, should do very this, good, though. Sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the table. Should I tonight. fully trim? Ugh, probably. There we are. Look how shiny my head is. Very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Oh wow. Fancy. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Thank you. That's very kind of him. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad. Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? Oh my god, first person's so weird. We can't win up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. 
Thanks, George. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Other than everything? And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Okay. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard <laughs> every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. You better. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come Ooh, on. fancy. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Me first, apparently. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. I didn't have any, Tables so away. here. I'll go find here. myself a change there. of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. <laughs> stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money, or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. <laughs> now, where can I get a cocktail? I want a cocktail. Give me a fancy cocktail. Arthur wouldn't like that, but I would. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Bly. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting uh... for you. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. Oh. No. We all fair? Some better than others. If what does that mean? Fared the same in life now, where I should just fold? Quiet. Wait. Yeah, okay. Desmond Bly, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. Rants. Okay, sorry boys, I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. Oh man. To hell with it. Here we go then. I would like to win. Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blyde wins with three queens. Well. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. What about you, likewise, huh? Mr. Yeah, likewise. 
So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man. I'm a sins. Funny. <laughs> I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just know What's the how the much suit. should I do though? I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future. I got a decent estate. amount. You sound just like my wife. You got enough chips there to go a little higher? I well, like yeah, I do. Man, Mr. Bly. Uh, 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 yep, keep going. Raise. Call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Oh, man. Should I do all in? Yeah, I should. I guess. That is all. Oh, okay. Sometime before 1900 would be nice. It's not very nice. I'll call. Interesting. Very cowgirls. <laughs> Four hundred buckaroonies. Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning Well, I heard well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I gotta watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man. Oh, yeah, you. very well. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation <laughs> up in New Hanover. Technically not false. Two kings, eh? Yeah. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, Desmond, you fool. Pear cake. Very good, but oh. not good enough. Shit. Oh no. Strauss, you lied. Uh oh. Yes. Oh. Knew. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! <laughs> no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? I am a poker genius. Cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Uh, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. That was Follow lucky. Me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Okay. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Great. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Arthur's so good at just like not Finn, engaging. You're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. This well, is a cool boat. Here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Oh my god, that was so fast. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. 
I'll be taking this. Thanks, sir. Oh, whoa. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> <laughs> idiot, huh? Right in the eyeball. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Oh, let's get oh. out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. You in here. Just like Billy Midnight. Good. All over again. There. Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. It's gonna Just be another shootout. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. What kind of gun do I have? I don't have anything. Oh. I must have to pick one up. It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. <laughs> Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Well, that would I be amusing. Know, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. <laughs> anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> Arthur's enjoying this. I mean, it'd be fun to pretend to be rich for a little bit. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look! There's your friend! My friend is a lover, no cheat, and I beg you to take oh. the insinuation! Uh-oh. There he is! Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you! There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut! <laughs> there he is! Shoot that man! Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, no. Slightly off. Okay, slightly off. Oh. Oh, no. If I can get them from this. Not this way. Oh man. That's so far. They're all good swimmers? Like that's really far for even a, a good swimmer. You get exhausted pretty fast. Wow. Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand. I a think. wet few thousand. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Yeah. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. Easy peasy. No problem. All right. Whoa. That was a lot. Let's read about the riverboat robbery. Oh, I can't. This is just for show. I see. Now, next, let's do this. And then we can hop over here, and then we'll go see Dutch. Open up. Who are you? 
Do I know you? Mr. Oh, no. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh. oh. Evelyn Miller. I thought I had to sneeze. So, but it's gone. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Oh, hey, guys. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flags. Gentlemen. We saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. <laughs> As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. There. I was wondering when we were going to meet them. Oh. Yes, yes. Let's... Oh, let's just go down here. See what's what. Probably call my horse just in case. Oh, is this uh Oh, it's you. <laughs> Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> you okay, buddy? Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shove the hot poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Obviously, Arthur. Come on. Keep up. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I the horse is losing its mind. Mankind, buddy. 
Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, <laughs> what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. <laughs> yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, something. <laughs> uh, my hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe <laughs> I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. <laughs> I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it. And I am about to prove that. Here, take this and this and uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Uh, yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the oh. sea mines. They have magnets attached. Oh Make my god. explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use that torpedoes poor bird. to destroy the battleships, <gasps> imagine Jeez. what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And oh, I have shit. certificate. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Oh now God. tell it to do closer to <gasps> the ship and shoot with torpedo. I'm scared of getting hit by the mines. Wait, you okay. see what he does? No wire oh. or telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Mm -hmm. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. Oh my you god. Make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Nope, Not nope, death, nope. Wrong way. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Good enough. Oh nope, never mind. Nope. Oh god. <gasps> Where's the mine? I'm getting the mastery of this. One more to prove. There, I'll go Oh god. To the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. Gotcha. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, oh my god, those men are gonna hit the mines. Waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Pog. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. This is, yeah, no, seriously. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. 
They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We oh, are shit. Not reliant on wires shit. or coal or shit. gasoline. Just rays in the air. Like the uh, oh, God. I don't know what I'm doing. And I have to hit all of them? And funding from you, of course. But one thing to fund. Nope. What an opportunity. No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even him with here. Hey. You really all work on your salesmanship. She's she's Americans. Don't you think about sales? Okay, let's see. Let's see. <gasps> the mines, oh. They're magnetized, remember? Oh shit. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I have an invisible Oh my god. Very good. Leave me alone. Very Leave me alone. Good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Oh. It was almost almost wasn't. <laughs> Stressful. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, <laughs> sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. <laughs> and, and I hope you will forgive my... Uh, nice. I think I remember seeing him next time. Kind of hazy though. Oh, oops, my horse is. We go see what Dutch wants. Come on, horse. Oh, he's gonna run over the. She's gonna run over the people. Oh, there she is. Oh, they changed their mind. Uh oh. My time to leave. Is Dutch back here somewhere? I don't rightly know. Oh, oh. Oh, Lenny. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place is. Got I'm not prepared. Money. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just hand over money. all your money now. Don't make us kill you. Quick. Mr. M, don't believe these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. M, check that room back there. I got this. I'm a baddie. Okay. Never held people up before. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. Give me your things. Open the gate and let my acquaintance I'm gonna need everything you There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. Sure. Yeah, because it was a setup. 
That's why. And get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any of you. Oh. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. I don't know Open why they there. would. Nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Such good dumbass. No stacks. A few dollars and coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down. We got you surrounded. That greasy son now. of a bitch. He set us up. You think this seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. He always has time to say gentlemen, even when he's stressed. He kind of holds his own. Oh, for God's sakes. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, I can't see. Oh, I see. Gonna be allowed back. Dutch. What's going on? guy is like right behind something. Well, that was going terribly anyway, so that's fair. I shot that guy in the head, near near his head, several times. I'm getting hit from here. One just like hides. There we go. Watch out! Got someone about to be here. Damn it! They're still coming. We're gonna get out of here. Right? Where? Where are we going? I'm coming. Don't know what happened to my shooting. Seriously. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, 
Oh, no. Arthur, you idiot. Oh, oops. This is not the right area. I saw a guy running and I assumed it was Lenny. It was not. Oh god. Please, Arthur, you're stuck. Oh no, I'm actually stuck. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I hit the wheel. I don't understand what's happening. His horse is freaking out. Got to do 600 shots. I don't know what's going on. I'm not usually this terrible. That's unusual for me. I'm not great, but this is just awful. This is not a lot of cover. Oh, you're still... What gun am I using? Oh god, I'm using a shitty gun. Maybe that's why. Get on, get on, get on. No. Get on. Arthur. There's something happening. Seriously, there's something going on. Something, something's gone afoot. Oh dear. So you've taken so many shots. Just just take the L. I've got nothing to say, guys. Got nothing. I just shot a horse.
Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not great. I don't have a big gun, no. A bit of a concussion probably I mean they should too because they Arthur was upside down that was seriously the worst shooting I've done ever I think that was so bad I don't know what to say I need a biscuit perfect no this is not a safe spot to stop no you're insane next time it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. <laughs> Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. Yeah, no shit, he did. Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? Existed. What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Where's my hat? I would like it. Yeah, no, that's a bronze. That's lower than a bronze. That was pretty bad. Who's EF? Oh, Eagle Flies. Oh, yes. I think that's actually going to be it today. Um, because it looks like I can do this first thing next time. And I'll pay off my bounty so I can actually run around here without being worried. And then the Eagle Flies thing I think is pretty long. So we will kind of start off with that. But yeah, if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. You could have clicked on any video, but you clicked on mine, and I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.